Hello everyone. Um, I'm back with another video and it's of this beauty. This 12 volt bell. Now, on the alarm community concept for system, there's a picture of where this came from. It did come from a vented bell box, but the bell box had been smashed off the wall, so all I could save was the bell and the strobe. I couldn't save the actual casing of the bell box, even. Um, so literally, I got it, and it was just a strobe with a piece of plastic attached to it that had been part of the bell box, because it was a vented bell box, one of the nicer bell boxes. Um, and so it was that, it was just a strobe with a piece of plastic stuck to it that was left from the vented bell box, and there was this bell attached to the back plate. So, yeah, I'm going to demonstrate the bell because it does work, and it's a 12 volt bell, which you can't, you can't, you can only buy the Friedland Master Belt. You can't buy any other 12 volt bells these days. Um, and the Friedland Master Bell is about 60 quid. It's silly money for a bell. They're, they're not worth that. So, I've got two. I've got one in a vented bell box, which you've seen on my channel. I've got a bell in a March 1984 CQR Type C vented bell box so there's a bell in there that's another video on my channel if you want to take a look at that um yeah and then i've got this bell which isn't serving as any particular use at the minute i've bought off ebay some i've bought a non-vented type c bell box from ebay um i've got one on my channel that i've made a video of in the past but i bought another one which I might, as I, I bought it as a dummy, but then days later I found this, so I might put the bell in that, because that's doing nothing, it's got nothing inside of it. Or I might just keep this bell to use for another alarm system to be directly fitted onto a wall or whatever. Anyway, I'll take the cover off and I'll show you the interesting, it's not like other bells, the interesting thing it does. Also, it was covered in rust, so I have spray painted the bell. And this was silver. This just middle thing here but I just painted that black as well so I'll get a screwdriver of the Poundland variety <laughs> and put it in here and then this big screw thank god is turning and this comes off and that then comes out with the little clippy thing in the middle so we'll put that to the side and we'll take the cover off and I'll show you what's happening inside this bell. That's if the, bo the back plate of the bell and the actual metal dome will separate, which they're not looking like they're doing this a minute. I can't get it apart. Well, this could be a problem, couldn't it? I wonder why this has happened. You won't be seeing this bell at all. I don't think. You won't be seeing it ringing because I can't demonstrate it because it's stuck together unless I can slowly pry it open. Woo! Yeah, it's just come right apart. The paint must have been a bit sticky or something from when I painted it. Anyway, it's apart now. So, move that mechanism to the side. There's the good old fashioned metal dome, which gives you the bell sound. But there's no electronics in, in that, like there is with some cheaper bells. This has a proper back plate. Uh, it was made up with this for free. I just asked the man who took it down if I could have it, and he said, yeah. What happens is, First off, first off, I'll show you the connection points. There was a sticker there, actually, that said where to put the wires. But when I cleaned it, the sticker came right off, which is a shame, but you know. Um, and what it is, it just said, it said, actually, above those two terminals, there was minus signs, and above those two, there was plus signs. So it's plus, plus, minus, minus. So, I mean, it was good, that, because you could connect them then in, like, sort of a series circuit. You could have 
wires from a bell going into this, then two wires coming out of this bell going to another bell. Uh, but I've just got the positive, positive and negative in the right terminals just to show you. Um, there was a date on it as well. There's the motor. There's the motor in there. You can see it's a bit better there. And it drives this mechanism, which I'll explain in a minute. There was a date somewhere on this. It's inside, the camera won't pick it up because it's too dark in there. But this bell, well, the bell box it was in as well, probably, was installed in November 1987. So what it is, when power's applied, so basically when the intruder alarm goes off and the bell gets power, this thing starts turning with these two metal, actually spring-loaded, dongs on. And what they do is they strike the metal casing of the bell which makes it ring so on the bottom of the bell there's a bit of a lip there and those two metal parts strike that and make the sound of the bell ringing so I have got myself a 12 volt alarm battery and I'll just connect the wires so you can hear, well, first off I'll show you the bell without the cover on, so I'll show you what happens. So if the alarm was set off now, with no cover on, this is, this is literally what happens. This mechanism starts. It's actually moving the back plate, but that would be screwed down normally. And all that is, is the motor in there is driven by the cog and it's just turning this mechanism that's literally all that's happening so I'll show you that again that's all that's happening but what happens is that's not how it works is it you have this dome fitted over as well so now the metal has something to strike so I'll just place that dome back over and press it down, not too hard though so it gets stuck on like it did before and I'll tighten that screw in the middle Whew. right so that's nice and tight now and now the bell will ring when I attach these wires because the metal, the twin metal dongs are now striking the metal which creates that ringing sound. So I'll demonstrate this quickly and then we'll get the noise of a proper intruder alarm bell. Well you heard it then, I touched the wires by mistake. Anyway, you'll get the proper noise of an intruder alarm bell so here's the full test. Right, so as you could hear, that was pretty loud. So that's how this um, bell works basically. It's just that dong hitting the metal and creates the ringing sound and it's a similar process for all bells but it just used, usually there's just a little metal arm just striking the metal like that. But I thought that was nice the way that had been set up and the um, effort that had gone into making that in November 1984 so yeah I thought it's a nice little thing to show you anyway so that's it really that's my demonstration of the um, 12 volt alarm bell made in November 1987 so as always thank you for watching the video and goodbye for now